Welcome back everybody, this is BC. I wanted to shoot another video because it seems as if the first uh, starting in real estate flat broke video did very well. And I wanted to expand on this topic a little bit because I know more often than not the people that follow me are newer or they're in the middle stages and they haven't developed that super duper momentum that some other people have in the business. And you need some tips and tricks. So I give you some pretty good tips on the first one. On the second one, I want to expand a little bit more on the mindset side, but also give you some additional tips to keep you going. Okay. So the first thing you have to understand is when you start real estate, like flat broke, it's really not that bad. Okay. And here's why. In this situation, many people look at it as this big hindrance and, oh my God, this and that. You have to realize that real estate and getting your license is one of the lowest barrier to entry entrepreneurial type businesses that has like the highest upside. There are real estate agents right now at the time of me making this video that are making millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Now outside of high level comedians, actors and athletes, who else do you know that's making that kind of money? Okay. Very few people. So the fact that you can get in, and I think even in California from nothing to starting out, it's like a thousand bucks, 1200 bucks, depending on what route you take. That's incredible, dude. For the upside of making millions of dollars as a possibility. Wow. Isn't that pretty incredible? And you can build the business yourself. You don't necessarily have to have a huge network. You've heard a ton of stories. I don't have to go into them of people who started pretty much broke like me and are doing very well. So that alone, with that information, you have to make a shift in your perspective because if you go in already as like a negative Nancy and you feel like, oh, well, I don't have a shot and you, you've already defeated yourself, forget it. Don't even do it. Your attitude is the number one thing you have to control. Mental attitude is greater than and more important than mental capacity, meaning you don't have to be the sharpest tool in the shed. You don't have to be the smartest person on the planet with all the connections. You don't have to be naturally gifted. Mental attitude is greater than mental capacity, okay? That first has to be understood, okay? And you need to look at real estate as opportunity. Many people wanna get into it as an opportunity, but they already defeat themselves before they start, okay? Now, I mentioned some activities in the first video that you can take advantage of in regards to um, low cost, right? Because you have to understand that starting out flat broke, you have a lot more time than money. So. One thing that I'm gonna recommend you do, especially if you're flat, flat broke, is seek out at your brokerage or through people that you know, like myself, I recommend all of you in the comment section, if you are flat broke, you connect with each other because I have a lot of highly respected individuals who follow me and a lot of people that I have connections with that will see the comment section and maybe we can start playing uh, the plug and connecting each other because I've helped people get on some pretty fantastic teams. So. I'm going to recommend that you seek out some sort of mentor at your brokerage. If not, connect with individuals like myself or people in this comment section to link you up with somebody to guide you either from your company or to help you join a team. Because if you're that um, restricted when it comes to finances, then maybe joining a team is the best bet for you because they can help you get your beak wet. Maybe they can help supply some leads or feed you something for you to nibble on and make one or two commissions and then you can kind of start doing your, your own thing. Now, I wanna advertise this fully up front. When you join a team, understand that you will have to sacrifice some things. They may designate you a certain role, being an assistant maybe, right, if you want a salary. Being only a buyer's agent, if you're brand new and they don't trust you to get listings yet. You have to get it. I was a stubborn motherfucker and I wanted to do it on my own and suffer not having money and I said whatever, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get listings and I'm just gonna do it on my own. Yeah, I'm gonna have mentorship, which I did. Yeah, I signed up for coaching, even though I probably shouldn't have because I put it on a credit card. But that was just the route that I wanted to take. I wanted to build my own empire. But if you have kids, you have some sort of responsibility and for whatever reason, doing that solo route maybe might just be too risky, uh, then join a team and find a mentor and, and really extract every drop of juice out of what's available, okay? Case in point, this is always why I recommend eXp Realty which I joined, when you join the company, you get assigned a mentor right away, local to you, who's qualified, okay? Then you have the network of people like me who can connect you with other people, which I've done constantly. I've even connected people that otherwise probably wouldn't have found each other, okay? Because my network's huge. 
So whether it's EXP or even another company, okay? Find somebody, connect with each other because that team route will probably be the simplest and easiest way. At the same time, I don't want anybody who has an aspiration to start by themselves to just jump on the team because it's the easy thing. You have to be willing to accept that it's gonna be tough, okay? So we have the mental side of it, your attitude. Second, joining a team. Number three, if you're watching this and you're either about to get your license, you're brand new, or you're still in the researching and taking the course process, now is your time, especially if you're broke, you wanna do two things. Get a little side hustle to start saving up some money, but number two, now is your opportunity to immerse yourself, okay? And learn as much as possible and soak up from people, uh, you know, at events and, and finding people to learn from, okay? Now my content is gold. However, you wanna go out in field and get experience. Sit in with somebody at an open house. Sit in with somebody when they door knock or make calls. Listen to them. Get a feel for it. Start doing the training and the role playing and the practicing and all the stuff that I tell you to do. You know why? By doing so, your learning curve will go from this to this. And you're going to close a deal and probably get a deal. Of course, it's not guaranteed. But you're going to get a deal a lot sooner than you would otherwise. Therefore, fixing your broke situation because this is the biggest thing people need to understand. In real estate, one check can completely change the course of your life forever, okay? Even with a bad split, my first check was like 4,500 bucks. Even if you multiply that by 12, what is that, All right? Uh, 6,000, 48, 54,000, right? That's already more than the average family takes home in a year, right? So if your first check is six, 12, 20, right? A couple months later, I got three checks. It was like 7,000, 12,000. I was like, whoa. It can change the course of your life, one or two deals, okay? You have to be able to really digest what I said because then everything that I've been teaching for years will start to make more and more and more sense to you and you'll realize it and boom, the light bulb will go off, okay? Now, being broke makes you hungrier and more likely to do what I said it is that I'm telling you. Because I know so many people who joined who weren't hungry or who were transitioning from part-time uh, or full-time at another job to real estate and they wanna wait for the perfect moment and all this shit, they don't have the pressure that you have that you're broke, okay? So again, I'm giving you the positive side of being broke. I've been there. I know a lot of people who still are. But the mental aspect of it is the most important. You could be broke and I could give you every single tool that I have at my disposal personally. But if your attitude is off, you will not see success, okay? So to those people who I just gave that message to, get ahead, shorten that learning curve. It will give you crazy, crazy, crazy results, okay? So uh, wrapping it up the last few minutes, when you do, because in the beginning, right, when you're flat broke, you're, you are gonna get that one listing or one buyer. It's inevitable, whether you team up with somebody, okay? And if you haven't gotten your license yet, start reaching out to the people that you already know through Facebook, call them, email them, show up at their work, show up at their house and start letting them know, guarantee you, you'll find a deal there or a good lead. At which point, if you're not good enough yet and you don't trust yourself, find somebody at your brokerage to team up with you, boom, you go half seas, okay? Many of you, if you work that, like I just said, you will find a buyer or seller. It's virtually almost guaranteed, okay? Now, when you do, especially if you get a listing, you leverage the shit out of that listing. You open house it, you door knock around it, you call around it, you go to local businesses and you let them know, create a little flyer, right? Have somebody hook you up. Lenders will work with you when it comes to that. They'll help you host the open house. You leverage the shit out of it. You do videos, you post it on social media, and from there, you can start building a reputation, number one. Two, you can trickle in some more leads and you can squeeze every drop of juice out of that in regards to picking up some buyers and sellers from that one listing. Because if you're posting on social media, you're calling around it, you're knocking around it, you're going to the businesses, you're shooting videos and posting it on social media, you're letting the world know because this is the last idea I'm gonna leave you with before I end this video is when you demonstrate to the world via live action and what you're doing on video, regardless of your results, regardless of your results, this is key. When you're constantly putting stuff out there, action, videos, posts, it's implied that you're hustling and you're winning and doing something. The public, when you do an open house or, or whatever it is, they think that's your listing, whether it is or not. 
And a lot of you won't even say it's your listing, but the assumption is, dang, so-and-so is hustling, that's their listing. So again, if you're watching this and you're flat broke and you've made it to the end, this is a bonus for you. As long as you're demonstrating activity, you're giving it your all, you're letting people know that you're in it to win it, you're hustling, and they think you're having success. So that's not to falsely boost your ego or, or anything, but that lets people know, hey, so-and-so does real estate. Wow, they're actually doing it. Now you're raising a likelihood of getting a referral or having those people do business with you. You see? So no matter which way you look at it, if you take action and you have the right mental attitude, you can really take this thing to the next level and start having success. Okay? Now what I might do on the next series of uh, you know starting out flat broke is maybe outline some specific strategies for you, but what, the, what I've given you in the first two videos is more than enough for you to get started. Because again, all it takes is that one deal. When you can get that one deal going, everything will change. Because if you really turn up the heat and you leverage that one deal, whether it's a buyer or a seller, man, you're off to the races, believe me, okay? So with that said, if you're watching this, um, I don't care where you're at in the process, I'm gonna recommend that you guys join Modern Success. If you can scrape the money together, check it out on my website. I have a ton of realtors on there for you to connect with and work on your skills and network with. Maybe some of them can mentor you. Very, very powerful group, ton of bonuses, and it will really sharpen your skills. That's in the description. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my podcast, Supreme Being, make sure you do. It's on every major podcast platform. That's also in the description. And lastly, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. That's in the description. I'm going to be sharing very soon. For those of you who made it to the end, uh, today, me and Loida hung out with uh, Tracy Tudor. She's the first and only female participant of Million Dollar Listing LA. So we shot some content with her. Um, I might put something on my channel. I know Lloyd is going to put some stuff on her channel because they did like a little interview type thing. But uh, might post that vlog. I took some footage. You may enjoy it. Otherwise, Team BC, make sure you like the video. If we get to a thousand likes on this video, for those of you who made it to the end, uh, I'm going to do a giveaway. Any video from now on that I make that gets a thousand likes, I'll do a free giveaway for everybody. Okay, peace.